guild was an association of artisans or merchants who controlled the practice of their craft in a particular town or area. The earliest types of guilds were formed for tradesmen. They were organised in a manner something between a professional association, trade union, a cartel or secret society. They often depended on grants of letters by an authority to enforce a flow of trade to their self-employed members and to retain ownership of tools and supply of materials. The lasting legacy of traditional guilds are the guild halls, constructed and used today as meeting places. After the Crusades, we saw goods flowing in from Europe for the first time. As these goods started to be available, people began to flock to these new towns. As a result of this influence, we started to see guilds develop. These associations and groups of artisans and craftsmen teamed together for their economic benefits to try to control all of the trade in a given town. For an example, all of the carpenters in a certain town might all be members of the Joiners Guild. The idea was that this allowed them to set a certain rule, such as wages, hours and working conditions. This also allowed them to make sure that nobody else was going to be able to come in and do that job unless they spoke with the Guild and paid them some sort of subsidy in order to come in and participate in the economy of that particular area. The other thing that the Guilds would do would be offer support to these merchants and tradesmen as they no longer would rely on the feudal lords. Sometimes the support would be extended to families. For example, when a guild member died, the guild would step in and take care of the widow and the children, and even take control of the children and train them up to become future guild members. Apprenticeships would start at a very young age when a parent would bring their child to a guild member to learn a new trade. Initially, they would pay the guild member to house and feed the young apprentice. The apprentice really worked for the master, and the parents were paying for their child to be there, but over a period of, say, nine years, the child would learn the trade, and they would be promoted to the job of journeyman. When they become a journeyman, they would start to receive a wage and get paid for the work that they were doing. After their apprenticeship, they too would become a member of the guild, and people would know that they had been trained to a quality standard of craftsmanship. 